On July 24, 1952, at approximately 6.30 a.m., a significant formation of flying saucers was spotted above Arnhem, Netherlands. The eyewitness to this event was a woman whose identity has been kept confidential by the CIA. She was accompanied by her four children. They observed these flying saucers moving in a V formation, coming from the north, and the objects remained visible for several minutes before suddenly disappearing to the south. File C05515704 slash C0015276. Country, Netherlands. Date of report, September 2, 1952. Date of observation, July 24, 1952. Subject, big formation of flying saucers above Arnhem. On July 24, 1952, at approximately 6.30 a.m., a significant formation of flying saucers was spotted above Arnhem, Netherlands. The eyewitness to this event was a woman whose identity has been kept confidential by the CIA. She was accompanied by her four children, two sons aged 16 and 13, and two daughters aged 12 and 10. They observed these flying saucers moving in a V formation, coming from the north, and the objects remained visible for several minutes before suddenly disappearing to the south. The events of that day left an indelible mark on their lives, and the details of the sighting were recounted as follows. The family's day began like any other, with no anticipation of the extraordinary experience that awaited them. As they looked up into the sky, they suddenly noticed a peculiar phenomenon unfolding above them. What they saw was a formation of flying saucers, unmistakably disc-shaped and highly unusual in appearance. These saucers were not like any aircraft or objects they had ever seen before. The saucers were arranged in a distinct V formation, a configuration that added to the surreal nature of the sighting. They appeared to be flying in unison, moving with remarkable precision, and their formation against the backdrop of the Dutch sky was a sight to behold. The woman and her children watched in amazement as the saucers continued their path from the north. The duration of the sighting was a significant aspect of their experience. They had the rare opportunity to observe these flying saucers for several minutes, allowing them ample time to study and absorb what they were witnessing. During those precious moments, they would have had the chance to discuss and process the event as a family, forming lasting memories of a shared encounter with the unknown. Then, in a moment that must have felt both astonishing and mysterious, the flying saucers abruptly vanished from their view, heading toward the south. The sudden disappearance would have left the family with unanswered questions and a sense of wonder about the nature of these enigmatic objects. This sighting was part of a larger wave of UFO reports that occurred between 1950 and 1952, not only in the United States but also in various parts of the world. During this period, many pilots, aircrew, and passengers reported seeing unidentified flying objects. A particularly well-known series of UFO sightings occurred in Washington, D.C. from July 12 to 29, 1952. These incidents are often referred to as the Washington Flap, the Washington National Airport sightings, or the Invasion of Washington. The most widely publicized sightings took place on consecutive weekends, specifically on July 19 to 20 and July 26 to 27, and are considered the climax of the 1952 UFO flap, according to UFO historian Curtis Peebles. For those interested in learning more about this incident and related UFO phenomena, a comprehensive video can be found on the YouTube channel UFO Section 51. 
Various explanations were proposed for these sightings, including mirages, celestial bodies, reflections from aircraft canopies, and weather balloons. In many cases, these explanations were provided even when witness testimony suggested something more mysterious. However, the fear of a potential Soviet origin for these unidentified objects lingered in the background, given the Cold War context of the time. This sighting of the flying saucers in Arnhem in 1952 is an enduring testament to the enduring mystery of unidentified flying objects. The woman and her children, whose identities remain confidential, joined a long list of individuals who have had inexplicable encounters with the unexplained, adding to the enduring fascination with UFO phenomena. This extraordinary experience was a piece of the larger puzzle of UFO sightings during that era, contributing to the ongoing discussion and exploration of the unknown in our skies. The mystery surrounding UFO sightings, including the one witnessed in Arnhem and those during the same period in Washington, D.C., continues to be a subject of debate and intrigue. While there is no definitive conclusion, several possibilities regarding the origins of these UFOs have been proposed. 1. Extraterrestrial Origin The idea that UFOs are extraterrestrial in origin remains a tantalizing possibility. Some believe that these sightings could be evidence of advanced spacecraft from civilizations beyond our planet. The sheer diversity and complexity of UFO reports, including those from Arnhem and Washington, have led some to speculate that they may indeed be the result of extraterrestrial technology. 2. Military or Government Projects Another theory suggests that at least some UFO sightings could be linked to military or government projects. During the Cold War, both the United States and the Soviet Union were known to conduct secretive aerospace experiments. Some believe that certain UFOs might be classified military aircraft or experimental technology, which could explain their unusual appearances and maneuvers. 3. Natural Phenomena and Misidentifications UFO sightings are not always linked to advanced technology. Some could be attributed to natural phenomena, atmospheric anomalies, or conventional aircraft. It's also possible that observers may misinterpret what they see, leading to UFO reports that have more down-to-earth explanations. 4. Psychological and Societal Factors Human psychology and societal influences can play a role in UFO sightings. Beliefs, expectations, and even mass hysteria can contribute to the perception of UFOs, especially during periods of heightened interest or fear, such as the Cold War era. As for the connection between the Arnhem and Washington DC sightings, it's essential to note that they occurred during the same time frame, and both were significant events in the history of UFO reports. While it is tempting to speculate that they might be related, no concrete evidence links the two. The Arnhem sighting took place in the Netherlands, while the Washington DC sightings happened in the United States. The vast distances and differing circumstances make it challenging to draw a direct connection. In the end, the true origin of UFOs, whether they are extraterrestrial, military, or something else, remains shrouded in mystery. UFO sightings continue to captivate the human imagination and inspire ongoing scientific research, but conclusive answers have proven elusive, leaving the enigma of the unidentified flying objects unresolved. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the declassified UFO case C0551704-C0001527 and don't forget to like this video, to share it and subscribe for more mind-boggling mysteries from around the world.